Hi, I'm Ingrid Arboin, the author of the upcoming book, The Corporate Culture Detox. And today I want to talk to you about clock watching. Are you a clock watcher? Here's the thing. You know that arriving early, not taking breaks, and staying past 5 p.m. will get you brownie points with your boss. But you don't care. You just want to go home. You want to like have your time. Your time is like precious to you. But here's the thing. People who love what they're doing get lost in time. Time goes by and they are surprised and even sometimes freaked out that the time is just gone and they have other responsibilities and other priorities and now they have to switch gears and do what they're supposed to do because they're so lost in time they have completely forgotten what other things that are important if this is not happening to you at work it's because you actually value other things more than the work that you're doing so this is a problem um, and the thing is that no amount of engagement, like I know your boss is like, oh, let's get them engaged, let's, let's do team building, or let's do a happiness at work initiative. And those initiatives probably bother you because the bottom line is something is there, even if they're trying to be nice and happy and whatever, something there is not matching who you are. So um, I wanna just talk to you about some things that you can really think about because the the two things that are really important here are knowing your values and knowing what you what your passion is here's the thing many of our values were placed on us so we grew up in families that told us what we should value we lived in environments and schools in societies that imposed our values and even sometimes we think, oh, we should be a doctor or a lawyer, or we should, you know, there's these shoulds that we have in our lives. Um, and maybe we haven't really thought about, and so we have to undo all of that stuff to get to what we really value. So it sounds like a simple thing, but I'm going to give you an exercise to do to help you to get to your core values. And then I want you, after you get to your core values, to look around at your job and what you're doing every day and really think about, does this match my values? Okay, so here's the exercise that I want you to do. I want you to get out your smartphone. I have an iPhone and if you have a, an Android like a Samsung, uh, you're going to have to search a little bit differently for this. So on the iPhone, you're going to go to the, uh, the store, the Apple store, and look for the app called Concordia Leadership Value Sort. It's a free app. It's put out by Concordia and it's going to help you sort through your values. And I like this one because it does um, have to do with leadership and work. Um, and there's lots of other apps. If you don't like this app, you can also search other apps. Um, some of them ha have a cost, like 2 or $3. This one is free. That's why I'm recommending it to you. Um, and you just go through, and you're going to come up with your three to five values that are important to you in the work environment. And if the same thing if you're on Google, you, uh, you can just go to Google Play and look for the same thing. I'm, I'm not sure if Concordia has the same app, but you're going to look for one that's a values sort. So a uh, work value sort or a personal value sort. Um, if they have a work value sort, I would recommend that more than a personal value sort. And so you're going to go through them and you're going to come up with your top three to five, like I said. And then I want you to really stop and think and look around um, your work environment and consider, are my values that I have here that I've come up with matching my work environment and the work that I do um, and the thing that I do day in and day out? And if you don't, if they don't, you've got a problem and you may need a corporate culture detox. Um, Sorry, I had to plug that in there. And so the next thing I want you to do is then really consider whether these are these values that you've come up with are connected 
to your passion. Are you doing what you're passionate about? So what are you passionate about? And that one, I want you to think about in terms of, you know, like maybe, you, this is in particular for people who have, you go through the card sort and you have things that aren't sort of socially acceptable in the work world. Let's say it's creativity. So creativity is really accepted in marketing. Um, and But it's a certain type of creativity. And maybe other things like art or painting or writing um, just aren't as valued. And so we stay away from those things because of a fear that they just won't provide us with um, a living, making a living. So I want you to think about what your passions are. And the thing is, your passion could be something like spell checking. I mean, there's some people who are really like, they feel amazing when they're like, oh, this is a perfect job. I, I actually have somebody who, who checks my work, who is like very proud when she hands me back something that is absolutely perfect grammatically spelling punctuation and that is just like over my head my thing is i love it when i'm on point with uh, a, a client and i have that and moment where they have this aha moment and i'm like i'm in my element and i time will fly and i'm like oh our hour was up an hour ago so time flies because I'm doing what I love to do. So that is my tip for today. If you are a clock watcher, then this is a good sign that maybe you need a corporate culture detox. Sign up below and you will get my video every week where I will talk to you about a new thing um, to help you sort out how to get to that best life, best work, and best environment.